presenting a case of 20 year old man who after falling from his bike sustained a dead palm thorn injury in his right eye 4 days ago vision was pl plus pr accurate on examination there was a suspected nasal scleral rupture anterior chamber showed posterior synechia with complicated cataract b scan revealed vitreous hemorrhage with incomplete pvd patient was counseled about his extremely guarded visual prognosis and may need multiple surgeries our treatment plan was to do a scleral rupture repair with cataract extraction and pars plana vitrectomy moving on to the surgery conjunctival opening was made and scleral rupture was revealed the scleral defect was first cleared of all debris and then repaired using a 80 vicryl proceeding to cataract extraction anterior chamber was formed with viscoelastics and with the help of lens dialer the pupillary membrane was separated and gently pulled out in a single maneuver with macpherson forceps anterior capsule stained with tripen blue anterior capsular flag being made with cystitome and the rexis was completed with rexis forceps with hydro dissection nucleus prolapse was done and phaco emulsification was completed cautery was done to stop bleeding from iris going behind the posterior capsule anterior vitrectomy was done and the vitreous hemorrhage just beneath the posterior capsule was cleared for better visualization core vitrectomy was performed first and dense vitreous hemorrhage above the disc was cleared and the disc was made visible and then gradually moving towards the periphery As the vitreous hemorrhage was getting cleared to my utter surprise I could see a large concealed foreign body in the superior nasal quadrant It's a non-metallic large foreign body standing upright in the superior nasal quadrant of retina What to do now I just cleared the vitreous around the foreign body as much as possible and then performed a large posterior primary capsulotomy with the cutter for removal of the foreign body I went in with max grip forceps disengage the non-metallic foreign body from the retina without prior laser to the area brought the foreign body anteriorly enlarged the corneal incision tried to remove the foreign body but could not hold on to the large foreign body with max grip forceps before making another attempt I injected some PFCL to protect the macula and float the foreign body This time I went in with a claw shaped retractable prong brought the foreign body into the anterior chamber as the foreign body was large in size with the shake hand technique the foreign body was at first oriented along its long axis and then removed
The foreign body removed is a dead palm thorn which is 9.5 mm long. Main port was then sutured with 10-0 nylon. Went in to complete the vitrectomy, but I was not expecting another surprise inside. Retinal detachment at the supernasal quadrant with break. Why haven't I done the laser before? Moving on, I completed the rest of vitrectomy and followed by fluid air exchange. Effect of periverbal anesthesia was going away. So subtenon anesthesia was given to complete the rest of the surgery. Following fluid air exchange, air in the anterior chamber was hindering visualization, so viscoelastics was injected into the anterior chamber and the air was removed. PFCL was partially removed. Endolaser started. For better visualization, epithelial scraping was done. Rest of the PFCL was gradually removed. An endolaser was completed. Followed by silicon oil injection. Post of vision on day 7 was 6 by 60. Retina was on, patient was happy and I was relieved. Post of vision after 3 months is 6 by 36. So my take home message from this video is try to make appropriate decisions during surgery and if any complications arise be calm and you will overcome the hurdle. Thank you.